What's up guys, welcome to Bro Beats. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to punch in and punch out. If you guys haven't subbed already, I'll turn post news on. Make sure you do so because it helps out a lot. Let's hop right into it. So a lot of people um, struggle with trying to, I guess, punch in like when they wanna record something and they wanna uh, redo it. So right now, as of right now recording this video, there's no real um, fast way to record it linearly. So what I mean by that is recording it on the same exact track. There is a way, but it is very tedious and annoying to do. So I don't think it's very really worth talking about until they actually fix it. So if anybody from FL is watching this, I suggest you kind of add that feature because a lot of people want it. Um, so the first, so basically um, what we're gonna do is I have arcade as like a vocal. So the real way that you would do it would be like this and you would record it. Right, so say that's you singing or your friend or whoever you're recording and you want to punch in it and redo it. Now, what would happen is a record on the next track. Okay, no big deal. But do this 10 to 12 times. And you can see how annoying that will get. So first thing we need to do is fix this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and delete all this real quick. All right, so here is, I guess, the new way of recording. So what you would have to do is right click on a track. It could be any track um, and go to track mode. And then you want to go to audio track and just assign it to wherever your vocals coming out from. So for us, it'll be arcade and it'll lock everything to this track. Now it won't record in a linear way. It'll still do what we did uh, previously. And I'm gonna just turn this down a little bit and just basically um, record a bunch of times. Okay, just after you, as if you were recording um, and you wanna punch in somewhere, you can do it, this, right? So now this is the new way. Now I do think this is superior to the linear way because now you have everything organized. That's just my opinion though. I know a lot of people like the original way of doing it, um, but now you can edit all these and everything is still under this track, okay? But now you can kind of collapse it, all right? And this is nothing really new, but a lot of people um, have been hitting me up lately, um, trying to figure out how to do this. So this is one way you can do it. So now that the like an automated way you can punch in. So I'm gonna just play this one time through so we can just um, take the melody. Or as a matter of fact, I'm gonna just show you right now. So let's turn this up. So say you record, right? And you like, okay, I don't like that. Um, I want to punch in right here. So what you can do is go up here to playlist options, go to time markers, and then you can put one, two, whatever you want to put. Okay. And I usually just mark them and you can move these around as well. I usually put four when I'm recording somebody. So I'll put two and then we can just do this one, three, and then four. Okay. So now what we need to do, and you can also move these around. So say he messes up the artist you record messes up on a part you can move it around and it locks the grid or you can turn it off as well so you right click and you go to punch in recording and then on two you go punch out recording and then if you want to come back in right here punch in punch out so now when we try to record you don't have to stop it or anything you can just play it through oh wait i gotta turn this off so I'm glad that happened. So make sure your record is off so that the computer can um, do it itself. And you can see it recorded on the same track this time. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now, like I said, you can move these around, you can add more, but when I record, I usually just do four because that's all you need. Because if you know, if you just need to keep punching in right here the whole time, you could just, all you do is press stop and keep recording. And then if you mess this up again, press stop recording and it, it all um, will go under one category. And then you can kind of, and I'll just show you real quick what I mean, just turn this down. Right, it'll all record under here and I can just delete a few of these. I'm just trying to show you like some troubleshooting as well. So it's not just straight through because I know people have questions. So here you could just kind of pick which one you like. 
right and that's why i think this is great that they do this but i, I understand why people like the regular way all right so that's pretty much it um make you know try these out um because they do come in handy um they save a lot of time because i know recording people can get very annoying sometimes especially when they keep messing up um but yeah that's it for this video i just want to show y'all that um hopefully this helps some of y'all out make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace